What's up guys, that really gross guy here. We are back for a quick tutorial video for you guys on how to get your hands on a Helminth Charger or the Helminth Kubro that is in the game as a companion. So this is a pretty simple guide, especially for those of you who have already gotten your hands on a regular Kubro because you have almost all the prerequisites to get your hands on the Helminth Kubro. Uh, that's because the Howl of the Kubro quest is done if you already have a Kubro. If not, you can check out my first video on how to get your hands on a Kubro, and then uh, it requires the quest to be done, and then very simply, you can start to work towards getting yourself a Helminth Kubro or a Helminth Charger, and Part of it is because you need this cyst that is on the neck of your Warframe. It needs the little tendrily deal to be popped out of it, which is a fully matured cyst. Uh, some of you may have already gotten one of these on your neck and didn't really know why you got it. Or if you do, it's because you came in contact with, with the infested Warframe named Nidus. Now, uh, for those of you who are just here for a refresher, you know a majority of this. The cyst is on your neck. Uh, what do you need to do? You need to get your hands on a Kubro egg, which those of you who uh, have done the Howl of the Kubro, you know, it's, it's as simple as getting one of the eggs from the dens. And then you need to, of course, have yourselves some of the free, uh, the free slots. You need a slot for your Kubro to exist in your inventory i guess and then you need one of these power cores so power cores you can get let me just show you the requirements for that we have the power core okay is 4500 nanospores two control modules and an argon crystal so it's a reusable blueprint i believe you can buy this blueprint from the market for some odd amounts of money. Let me just double check because I will also inform you on how much platinum it costs if you want to go that route. Okay, so we got the power core here. You can buy the blueprint for 50,000 credits. Pretty simple. You can also get it in the Kavat starter kit for 95 plat, the Kubro starter kit for 65 plat, or the Vasca Kavat starter kit for 105 plat, um, all of which are decent kits it really gets you on the fast track to getting your hands on a pet but you can also just buy the power core for 35 platinum all on its own uh, especially if you're you know if you're new to the game you might have a little bit of uh you know spare platinum lying around or you have some spare prime parts to go trade for some platinum um, it's not the it's not a bad investment but it is also pretty easy to get yourself, to be honest. So we have one of my Kubros here. This is not my Helminth Kubro. I will show you a good example of my Helminth Kubro here in just a second. Here we go. Go boom. And I have this little guy over here. Kind of a gross looking color. Um, there are a couple really cool skins that you can get for this guy. So, oh man, it's a... Uh, you can dress him as an original charger, which I named, which is why I named him Charger, because it's funny to uh, confuse your allies when you see a charger running around and you can't kill it. And yeah, I think I have another one in here that's a little bit cooler. Uh, we have Pimple. I named him Pimple. He's a little bit gross and, uh, you know, he's got some cool colors. And we also have Smudge. Smudge here has one of the exclusive armor sets from the Nidus Freak bundle that you can get if you get the Nidus Freak bundle. So, very, very cool. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, what you want to do, of course, is get one of these pimples on your neck. It does require you to meet a Nidus in a random lobby that you join in someone's game, or you can go to one of the relays, find a Nidus, hang around him for a little while, and... 24 hours later, you should see a pimple start to grow on that Warframe's neck. I believe it takes about six to seven days for the pimple to fully grow. So unfortunately, it does take a little while. But once you have the pimple on your neck, 
you have a Kubro egg, a power core, and of course a slot available for in your inventory. You can come in here, you can begin a random, well actually I believe imprints don't work for the Helminth chargers. So what you want to do is come down to the Helminth cyst, you want to drain your cyst, and you should now be incubating a, you'll see that the cyst will no longer be on my neck if Frost wants to kind of turn around and do his thing. Okay. We have the egg going into its incubation period, and now it should be incubating. So, I want to make sure you guys are aware that this cyst can only grow on a Warframe's neck that has not been removed by this machine in this room. I won't really go in here in case there's any spoilers or whatnot that you want to avoid, especially as a newer player, but this room you can only get into when you have a cyst on your neck, and if you go in here and have it removed, that Warframe can never have a pimple on its neck ever again. So don't do that if you're trying to get a Helminth Charger or a Helminth Kubro. I'm going to rush this guy so you can see it takes 24 hours for him to grow. I suggest waiting, but just for the sake of the video, 15 Platinum down the drain. Let's take a look at our cute little... Oh, yes. Okay. Our cute little pimple popping Kubro. Uh, female, actually. So there you have it. That is how you get your hands on a Helminth. Um, you could do it with a Nidus yourself. It, a, a pimple will grow on Nidus over and over and over again, or get one on your current Warframe, and you should be good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for some additional content and tutorials for Warframe, and just some other fun gameplays. Until next time, blow.